some peace and some, you know, a few moments of zen a day just by jumping in the lake. Dan O'Connor, better known as the Great Lake Jumper, bringing his talents to Lake Erie. No, thanks Buffalo. Thanks a lot, appreciate it, Lake Erie. O'Connor is from the Chicago area. During the pandemic, he says he was in a mental funk and decided a dip in Lake Michigan might restart his brain. Mental state uh, was, I, I was feeling down because I couldn't go out and see live music. O'Connor loves live music, and after feeling better mentally, he began to jump into Lake Michigan every single day, in every single kind of weather. You know, people ask, like, hey, did you ever, like, dread going? And, you know, it became a positive part of my day. O'Connor posts each jump on Twitter, and when views started increasing, he hoped to jump for good, raising money for the National Independent Venue Association, which helps keep live music venues up and running. I want those businesses to come back. Those are the building blocks of a billion dollar industry. Those are where bands, uh, you know, begin to figure out how to, you know, how to how to become great, how to become, uh, you know, some, you know, be able to play somewhere like a stadium. O'Connor's dip in Lake Erie, the beginning of his Great Lakes tour, where he hopes to bring more help to music venues, while also showing people that it's okay to struggle, and that sometimes all you need is a little boost from almost sub-zero waters. Some simple act can be something, can become something, you know, something bigger through perseverance. The Great Lakes tour does not not stop here at Lake Erie. The next stop will be in Rochester, where he plans on jumping into Lake Ontario in a few days. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.